Speaking with Pierre Garçon on 4th and Payne. And Pierre, I uh, can't let you go before we ask you a couple of obligatory football-related questions. The off season, man, how's that going for you? What have you been up to? It's going good. It's going good. I can't complain. I've been doing um, a lot of traveling and enjoying time. Now I'm back into lifting weights and working out and looking forward to, to the next year. Where have, uh, where have you gone? Any place exotic? Because I know Adam's been to uh, the lovely exotic Loveland, Colorado. Whoopee. <laughs> um, I went to LA. LA is pretty exotic, I would say. <laughs> Compared but, to um, went to LA, went to Vegas, went down to Florida, New York. Uh, stayed, stayed local. Stayed local in the in the states. Nowhere crazy. When I was in St. Louis, running back Stephen Jackson, he wanted to do a couple of crazy things in his off season. So we hired a, a specific travel agent for this type of thing to, to do something crazy. And he ended up going shark diving, like like he was in one of those steel cages and he went shark diving. <laughs> uh, have you ever done anything like that? Um, no, I'm too too afraid to do anything like that. It's um, it's pretty pretty crazy to go shark diving, but it's, uh, it's an interesting experience. I would like to see sharks in the distance, but <laughs> I'm shark with you. diving, yeah. I'd go swimming with the dolphins and stuff like that, you know, that, see, that kind of stuff. I have done that. That is a lot of fun. And actually, they have a lot of little sharp teeth, but they're obviously much friendlier than see, the sharks are. You know, SeaWorld is there for a purpose, gentlemen. I highly encourage you to go to SeaWorld as opposed to diving with sharks. And, and secondly, isn't that even, like, forbidden in your contract as putting yourself in uh, unnecessary danger? Isn't there uh, some sort like, of provision yeah, they'll find, in there? They'll find a way. <laughs> I, I think there's some sort of provision. It's kind of like the motorcycle, four-wheeling. If you get hurt doing something like that, it, you probably lose money or something to that effect. Uh, I, I don't know it that well, my contract. Shoot, man, I couldn't tell you. So uh, a couple of weeks left before you guys have to return. I know the rookies get the first crack at it, and then you're back here for, uh, uh, I guess, the first mini camp of the season. Uh, how did the off-season conditioning program go for you, Pierre? You were here just a few weeks ago. Was it good to have kind of the gang all back together? Oh, yeah, it was great to have the whole team back together, see the guys, um, see the guys progressing. You know, we have a young team and see them, see those guys growing. It's, uh, it's a great thing, and the offseason has been going well. Just as we think, we're, we're a lot better on offense. We're not starting from the uh, fresh season. But now we have some film that we can go back and watch and see what we need to improve on and look forward to get better at that for the next year. Now, here's the question. Adam kind of made me hip to this. Is You guys were actually learning some MMA techniques during this conditioning program. What exactly did you learn, and can you put me in a triangle choke? <laughs> no, I can't put you in a triangle choke, but <laughs> some of the guys that have, have done a lot of MMA, they like it. They, they really, really learn from it and appreciate it. It's a lot of, um, a lot of work. They've been, they've been excited about it and, and been very happy to, to take part in it. Now, I know, Adam, you said that uh, the MMA stuff really helps linemen in particular with their hand placement. But, Pierre, I'm curious, what is the benefit to a wide receiver or a position player? Um, it's the same, same. It's hand, hand placement for, for a receiver, you know, trying to get off the jam, trying to, trying to get away from defenders. It's, you know, have quick hands. It's kind of like a D-lineman, kind of like Adam a little bit. Well, there's not a benefit. If you get in a fight with the DB, you can kick the crap out of him now. <laughs> a la David Boston and Charles Woodson back in the day, Michigan, Ohio State. Wow, a David Boston oh, reference. Or Brock Lesnar when he got in that fight in, in a training camp when he was up in Minnesota. I bet he was kicking the crap out of people. <laughs> All right. Pierre Garçon, future fourth and pain champion coming up this season. Thanks again for your time. All right, thanks, man. No problem. No this problem. See you guys. Fourth and pain. We'll be right back.